Austrian Grand Prix. The grandstands were a sea of red in 2019, thanks to the commemorative hats in honour of the late great Nicky Lauda, who took home victory, of course, back in 1984. And it's a sellout crowd once again here today. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today, then, with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the ten corners of this high speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Blue lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Albon, Lando Norris and Leclerc, Vettel, Perez, Kvyat and Lance Stroll, Ricardo, Gasly, Lewis Hamilton and Ocon, Raikkonen, Magnussen, Roman Grosjean and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi and George Russell ends our grid lineup. Now, it's almost time for lights out. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. seeing any technical issues coming off the practice start. Watch the RPM on the full start. We don't want to bog down. No threat of rain for the time being. Conditions looking good. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed. Be ready with the clutch. Make use of the overtake button and see what you can do. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. this lap of the race. Keep this up. You're increasing the gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. Pretty much 
we've burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. In this lap, in this lap, push now. Stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over to the track. in for his stop. Taking the lead. Good job, nice overtake. There's only one lap of fuel remaining.
You worked hard for that one. Congratulations. A fantastic team effort to secure victory here in the Styrian Alps. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Again, it's great to see them up on that podium once again. Drivers' Championship. Not the result our points leader wanted, but it certainly makes things interesting going forward. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. Daniel Ricciardo certainly impressed me today. An incredible performance. All respect to the fans' choice. They fully deserve it. But I just feel that my pick had a little more on their plate, so their ability to keep a cool head and come through for such a strong finish made the difference at least in my opinion. It's time to check out the Constructors' standings. Our championship leaders retain their position, but their lead is shrinking. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One.